Hey guys, it's Cornhole Clark today, and this is going to be a new series. It's going to be called Creative uh, Building with Cornhole Clark, or just Clark, or something like that, something along the lines of that. But anyways, today I'm going to be showing you more stuff with this redstone lamp, and there's a lot to do with it. So today I've made sort of like a two-way light system. Uh, it's not like the creeper over here, and that got so many views, I'm so surprised. I'm glad you guys like this, the flashing creeper pulsar thing. So now we're going to get into more complicated stuff with this redstone lamp. Um, so I was sort of working on my own here, building with this redstone lamp, so pretend this is a house over here. And you just flip it on, and it makes own personal lights. So I sort of went in depth with that. Um, so I was thinking, why don't we bring the lights to the inside of the house? And actually use them as ceiling lights and stuff like that. So that's just a little project over there. So I decided to go and hook this baby up to a T-flip-flop. And you'll understand what a T flip flop does after I flip it. Um, so let me turn this to nighttime so you get the full effect. So right now it's powered and and right now it's dark. So what a T flip flop does, and you're probably wondering, that's a button, and how is that making it stay? Usually buttons would be like you push it and it doesn't stay it's like a normal button you push it and then it pushes back but this I've hooked it up to this T flip flop here and I'll be able to build one for you just in a sec so I hooked it up to a T flip flop that goes all the way to the button and then the other end of this T flip flop goes to this and this goes and pushes this and this back and forth so when this is getting pushed this way, it puts a stone there. So the stone is what is like making it not powered. And then when this block is next to this redstone torch, it powers it and it gives us light down below. So I sort of took that idea and made it to the max over here. So. You'll see this same sort of setup with the T flip flop, but in a big row of lights. So as you can see, this is the row, and uh, let's see what it does first, and then I'll show you everything uh, that it does, I guess. So we'll turn this baby off. Don't look, don't look. So let's just make sort of a scenario here so you're walking into your house and you're like oh it's so dark here and i need a light you don't need torches torches are for the old people now we have the redstone lamp and yes yeah, so the redstone lamp is really helpful for this stuff so basically what we did is we pushed it over and it gets turned on so that uh, yeah, so the redstone lamp is providing power here, and it gets pushed in, and what's nice about this is that we can just go turn it on, and turn it off, and turn it on. So, it works like that, that's what the T flip flop does for you, and say you're like sitting on the couch, and you're like, ugh, I'm so lazy, I don't want to go hit that button right over there. Oh, I'm such a fat ass, you know, it's like, ugh. Well, you know, you can just hit this button right here because it's a two-way switch. So it's like those light switches in your house where you can turn them on and turn them off. And there's sometimes light switches in your house that have two-way ports. So, for instance, you could turn it on over there or you could turn it on over here or turn it off and you can turn it back on. So it works in two different areas. That's why I don't like using levers. Because this whole system defeats the purpose of having a lever. You can just turn it on and off, 
and have a second port and turn it on and off. And it will stay as long as whatever. So uh, I built a little thing here. Let's turn it to day. And so, you know, a normal button would work like that. Just one push and one push back. So what a T flip-flop does, let's go build one. So you dig a hole like that too, and then you go like that. Sticky pistons on the side. And then you want to put a block here, and then a block over like that. Whoops, I'm forgetting a redstone torch here. Put the redstone torch there, put it there. And uh, put a redstone torch there. And put some redstone on top. Now you're probably wondering, where are the power points for this? So right here is your output i guess and then this could be either way you could switch it either way so let's just say this is your output so i mean your input um so we're gonna attach a button there and then this is gonna be your output oh great it's raining i'll turn that off with too many items i might want to do a mod review on that someday so what this T flip flop does is that when you turn it on, those pistons switch, and now you can see this redstone is powered. And that's only by a button, not a lever. So that's a button, and then you can turn it off. So it's exactly like a light switch at your house. And now we're going to go into how I built this huge setup here. So the button inside the house is right here. And I have the redstone connected to it. And it goes all the way here to a redstone repeater. And the redstone repeater, basically, if you don't know what it does, is it makes the length of the redstone like go longer so the redstone repeater makes it go longer and we brought it up sort of like a staircase way and it goes and connects to that t flip-flop that we just made and the t flip-flop is hooked up to this light system but i want to show you what i did here to make it two-way so what i did right here is i hooked it up to a different input so this strand of redstone goes all the way over here, connects to another repeater so the strand is longer, and then it goes down these sort of staircases, and right in there is actually the button that was next to that couch that I had in there to the TV. So that strand of redstone from this T flip-flop goes all the way around, connects to a bunch of sticky pistons, plus uh, redstone repeaters, and you want these re redstone repeaters here because it wouldn't work like that, so let's say, because it gives it a direct input, you don't want this to be happening. You don't want, like, strands and strands like that. What a redstone repeater is good for is it gives it direct power to that one source. So that's what that redstone repeaters are doing. And then you have the redstone repeater here just to make it longer. And then you bring it around and it connects to all of these. So it goes all the way around. And what you'll basically see here, here is what happened here. So when we go and push this, this is the smaller test. That gets pushed over and now that's not powered because it's not touching the redstone torch. Now, when I press this again, that gets pushed back and it gets powered because it's touching the redstone torch. So what I did here is this basically gets pushed back and forth. So when the next time I push the button, this pushes this all the way over here so this glowstone or i mean not glowstone but redstone lamp gets pushed here and then this stone block gets pushed here and that's not powered anymore 
So, what we can do is, let's see, uh, I put a redstone torch here and powered all this redstone up on a up above it now uh you're probably saying why don't you just have the redstone directly on the redstone lamps well it doesn't work like that because when the redstone lamp gets pushed the redstone would get popped off so that's why i have it on a block above it so that's that guys i really hope you liked this video i mean i think it's amazing and i'm gonna be doing a lot more creative builds so much fun to do uh yeah so i'm gonna be doing a lot more creative builds that will include more redstone stuff and i'm actually gonna be doing more building stuff so it's going to consist of me building houses and house designs uh like furniture tutorials and it's just gonna be a lot of tutorials and you'll learn a lot from it so i hope you enjoy this video and i'm gonna go sleep on this couch good night don't forget to leave a like and a comment guys bye bye